So I obviously always do these videos on your Fire Stick, your Apple TV, Nvidia Shield, all these different devices and how to get these various apps that help you to get live TV or maybe help you to do something on them. Uh, but the issue is always I live in Canada and in the US every app store has different apps. So sometimes I have to go in, find a way to install them. Or and I kept asking myself, well, how can I just use the US app store? How can I use the United Kingdom's app store on my Fire TV device. And I was finally lazy enough to find the solution. So today we're gonna be walking through how you can get different countries app stores on your device without moving anywhere. And really with about two to three steps, it's super quick and I'll walk through the whole process today. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and like always, for the first hour to two hours of this video, I will be answering all of your questions down below in the comments. You'll even have a chance to be featured in my next video. Today's comment comes from Tech Doctor UK, who said, great review, man. Yes, there's one app left over after the app killer kills everything because it's the app itself. And if you missed that, that's from yesterday's video where I reviewed Tech Doctor's UK brand new Fire Stick app. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go on our Fire TV Cube in this case, but you can do it on your stick, your Fire TV. And I'm going to show you that I'm in the Canadian App Store. So we're going to go to the Find section here. This is the App Store. And I'm going to type in an app that's available in the, in the US App Store and in the UK App Store, but not in Canada. And that is Freevee TV. Now, this is uh, the replacement for IMDB, IM, IMDB TV. Uh, the one that Amazon bought. So you can see we click on Freebie app here. So you can see we click on Freebie TV here and nothing pops up whatsoever. So you can see there's no Freebie TV app available in the app store. And that's the tricky part. So now how do we go about changing our app store location? So all of a sudden we can get these various apps that are only available maybe in the US or in the UK. For example, we might also go over a demo where I show you BBC iPlayer, which is only available in the Fire TV store. Um, in the UK. So let's get into the tutorial. First thing you're going to want to do is head over to your Amazon account on your uh, PC, etc. whatever device you have. You'll want to do it on a laptop though. You could probably also do it on a tablet um, and probably on your phone too. I haven't tried it on my phone, but it should be the same because we're just going through settings. Um, now, if you guys don't see right now, we are on my Amazon uh, store. So this is where I do tons of reviews on different products. I have my Amazon store link down below. It would mean a lot if you guys just went and gave me a follow really quick. Uh, it really helps support the content on Amazon. I review tons of products. Uh, you guys get to see me do some pretty stupid stuff like you guys can see here. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is move my head, of course. So let me move my head here. Oh, not this, this right here. And I'm going to show you guys the settings tab over here. All right. So if you guys see the settings tab here, you can see this little tab right here. Uh, let me move my head one more time. There we go. All right. So we want to pull this drop down menu and we want to find the select the uh, section that says content and devices. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now that's going to bring us over to this screen here. Now what you want to do is you want to find the preferences tab. Now we can see that in the top corner right here. We're going to click on that right there. Now we get a ton of different options. I know I have to keep moving everything. You can see we have digital payments, right? Uh, country and regions. And this is the one we need right here is country and region settings. You can see right now it's set to Canada. Okay. Um, and that's obviously my home country. So when we set up an account, we set up our home country and they also go off your IP address as well. So it's not enough to just change this, but we'll get into that. We're going to click on change right here. Now, this is the part that can get a little tricky. What we need to do is, in this case, I'm changing it to the US. We need to get a US address. So all I do is I go on Google and I just look up. random US address, you can just go here and you can just grab uh, an address, right? As long as it's available in Amazon's books, you're gonna be able to use it. So now that I have mine selected, you can see I am uh, Beverly Hills, I'm bougie, I'm, I'm rich. I think this is actually the location of like a Michael Kors or something. Uh, you can click update right here, right? So pretty simple. And you can see success and you can see our region is now changed to the United States. Now, the next step, you're gonna wanna take your device and we're gonna to wanna to head back over to it. So we're gonna to head to our Fire Stick. 
And you're going to see right away, nothing has changed because we haven't reset anything yet. Now, the next step is we want to go to the app store and you guys are going to want to install ExpressVPN. Now you don't have to use Express. If you have a different VPN, go ahead and use it. If you want to try a free VPN, you can look up free VPN. And sometimes there are some options that might work. In this case, ExpressVPN is the best choice for what we're doing right now. And they're also my sponsor. So you guys get a sweet discount if you want to try it with this. We're going to go ahead and install it. Once you install it, you're going to need to head over to the description here. In the description, you're going to see a link right here for ExpressVPN. And this is where you can set up your account. You get 30 days free. So if you want to try this, maybe get the app. And then if you don't like it, you can cancel it. I get a kickback regardless of you guys canceling it or not. So I do appreciate that. Um, but you get to try it for 30 days. So it's a risk-free experience. Again, I, I know Express works for this. I think all of them will, including the free ones. But Express is just reliable, in my opinion, and I use it and they pay me. So, you know, obviously I got to say that. Anyways, let's head over to our Fire Stick now. So now that we have Express VPN, I'm going to turn it on. Now, what this does is even when you unplug it, it will automatically connect to the VPN as soon as it starts up. And that's kind of what we want in this case. You don't have to have it like that, but I find it works better. Now we want to take our device right here. You guys can't see it. And we're going to unplug it and remove it from the power source for five seconds. Now, what this is going to do is obviously fully reset it, which is then going to close the app store, etc. We're going to plug it back in. And this should connect us to the Amazon US app store. Okay, so now that we're hooked in, let's go check to see our VPN is connected. Connected 100%. And now let's head to the app store and see if we have freebie. Uh, I think BBC iPlayer is also available in the US, but I honestly can't remember. Let's check out Freebie though. Freebie TV, Freebie app. And there it is right there. So you can see it pops up right away uh, and we're able to install it like we couldn't before, right? So uh, really simple guide. Now we're able to get Freebie TV where before this wouldn't even have popped up in Canada. So really, really great. And you can see right there, it says location based services, right? So it depends on where you are, um, when you can use it. Now, uh, let's check BBC iPlayer. Cause I do want to show you guys that this works for other countries as well. If we go back here and we type in BBC iPlayer, I can't remember if it's available in the States. I know it's not available in Canada, but let's check the States. So BBC. Oh, they do have it in, in the, Okay, I actually didn't know that. And they have BritBox in the United States? Man, you guys get all the good stuff. So BBC iPlayer, I guess, is available in the States? Oh, no, unavailable. Okay, boom, look at this, unavailable. Let's do it. Okay, so what I did is I went over to Random Location Generator, uh, and we're basically going to set up our Amazon account to a different address one more time. So let's go here. I just keep my name the same. We're going to type in this random address. Okay, I made it work. So we're now set to the United Kingdom. Now we have to head over to our Fire Stick and we're gonna do the same thing. So we wanna head to our VPN. We want to turn our VPN off. We wanna head to countries. We wanna head to, no, we don't wanna do that. We want to head to UK, Dockland, sure, connected. Now we wanna go ahead and reset our Fire Stick again. Okay, we're connected. Let's now see if this worked. We're going to check our VPN one more time. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Scroll down. Express VPN should be on to Docklands. Let's head to our search function and let's look up BBC iPlayer like we were going to do. BBC. Okay, so I went and reset my Fire Cube one more time and now it works. So uh, if it doesn't pop up the first time you do it, just reset it and it looks like it'll work the second time so it might just be that uh the amount of time i unplugged my fire cube for the first time uh it just wasn't long enough for uh all of that saved uh temporary data you know when you unplug something you plug it in really quick it doesn't really re anyways it worked this time it's downloading so this method definitely works guys so that's everything for today's video guys if you enjoyed this video check out this video here on tech doctor uk's cash cleaning app i'll see you in the next one